I saw this question that was posted online. Development community, as we've mentioned, is amazing. If you're getting started and you're, you're asking yourself what language did I choose, would you create a new anything with PHP? We don't really have a direction, we have an idea. I think the difference between the passionate or talented programmer and the one that just goes gets the education is the guy that goes home after the education is right. done and continues. It's Hey, welcome to another episode of Tech Uncensored. My name is Paul. I'm Nick. And uh, today we're going to be talking about reinventing the wheel, adding packages, uh, should you, should you not, uh, and our opinion on that. So without any further ado, we're going to kick this one off. Um, so what I've seen a lot is people that, there's these people that with the NPM and other package managers and languages, they just search the internet. They're like, I want to add a slider, or I want to implement this component or this feature. And so the first thing they do is go to NPM, go to their package manager of choice, they type it in, and boom, there's a component, there's 30 different uh, libraries available for implementing a slider, and I'll just use that for an example. So what do they do? Maybe they do a little bit of research or, or look at uh, reviews on one or, or the pull requests or implementations of, of this slider that they've chosen. Maybe they don't, but they go, they download that, they implement the library, and boom, they've got a slider. And they do that over and over and over again, and before you know it, you've got a project that's got, I don't know, uh, 20 different libraries, oh, let's say 12 different libraries. Uh, dependencies, though, hundreds of dependencies all across mm -hmm. the board because they just pull these in without understanding what is actually being done. And my, I want to throw out, you know, uh, a word of caution to folks that do that. Um, don't do that. I mean, do that, but take it with a grain of salt. So use it for what they're they're the, what they're there for. And you know, it's nice to have all of these options, but without any understanding of what is actually going on. I mean, what did we see not that long ago, where a uh, very popular uh, library or or NPM module that uh, was used by hundreds of others uh, as a dependency got pulled from NPM and crashed everything. So, um, and it was just, a, a, it was left bad. Um, yeah, all because people didn't realize what they were pulling into their own project and didn't realize what dependencies were actually needed. And the problem with left bad was it was, was it one or? It was just like, like 13, 13 lines, lines of code yeah. that Ultimately, if you knew what you were trying to accomplish, you could have just implemented it yourself and never had a problem. But because a lot of these packages, no one looks into what they rely on and what dependencies they have, they were all stuck in the air wondering why their stuff wasn't working and they shoot rate the stack overflow and overflow that uh, platform with a bunch of questions mm -hmm. that is as simple as do your homework. Right. And, you know, that's not to say, you know, libraries are there for a reason, uh, package managers mm -hmm. are there to manage manage that. Um, and it's all good stuff, but the problem comes, and, and what, we, what we're talking about here is, you know, there might be a package for that, great, don't reinvent the wheel, but have an understanding. Don't become one of those people that just are pulling packages in, not understanding what they're depending on, not understanding how they're working, uh, and just kind of patching these together. Because from my experience, what I've seen is, you know, you pull enough of those in, you start band-aiding and, and piecing them together, without understanding what is actually going on behind the scenes or how these things work um, can actually lead to problems down the road. And then it's, you know, package managing hell or something. I think I've heard people refer to it is like, you got this, it depends on that. And he's updated at this time, but revert, work, runs on this version. I mean, it's just dependency hell. I mean, you just get into this problem where it's like, we start reading from your terminal to try to figure out what's an unmet peer dependency. Mm -hmm. And then you'll download that blindly just to make something work. Where and down the road, you're not even understanding what you have. Like, yeah. And then it just good. ends up causing more problems in the, in the end than, you know, what you tried, you tried, you, the whole basis was to manage this and make things easier. And before long, without having any idea of what you're doing, you've created this huge mess. And that's really, um, you know, a, a, a bad side effect in using these not really for what they were intended for, uh, in my opinion. Um, so we would just urge you that even though there's a package for that, you know, that's great, but understand what you're implementing. And if, you know, you actually come from a background or come from having the experience to understand what is actually going on, you know, it's great for learning. Download three of those sliders. Look at what is uh, common between them and what these people did to implement them and learn from them. But if you're going to production with some of this stuff, 
uh, I'd urge on the side of caution of actually understanding what it is that you're using, um, maybe weighing the costs and benefits to actually implementing a package, implementing somebody else's code versus doing it yourself, especially when you're dealing with a lot of custom, custom builds and custom uh, uh, tie-ins uh, with, with other stuff that you've built. Uh, it can really be beneficial to err on the side of doing this yourself. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where we wanted to wrap that up. You know, there may be a package for that, but take it with a grain of salt because you know it can end up biting you in the ass real yep. quick. So uh, that's about all for this episode. Uh, hope you learned a little bit. But until next time, we hit you again with the well. What are we gonna hit them with next time? The most important thing to learn in programming most important thing to learn the program that's right nick <laughs> all right so, this has been another episode of tech on sensor my name is paul i'm nick and remember to subscribe to this youtube channel down below links to anything that we felt was important for this episode notes and what have you in the description down below subscribe to us on twitter at tech underscore uncensored and check out our new site on uncensored.tech all right have a great day bye peace